What's up everybody and today I'm going to show you how to convert your sport seats to standard seats. Now sport seats when they work they're awesome but to recover them and get them to working again could cost over a thousand dollars a piece so I found some standard sports uh, some standard seat covers on uh, Book of Face Marketplace and I'm going to show you how to convert the sport to the standard. They actually kind of sit better too. Here we go. All right, there's a little clip down here that you gotta find, kind of dark. See it right there? You take a flathead screwdriver or something and just kind of pop it forward, and I'll show you how to do that. Now, now after you have the little clip popped, just grab right here, pull up, and it comes out. Now, to make it easy, the other side, I tried taking the cover off with the seat in the car. It was it was a lot more labor than you need to, so I found a trick. You need to disconnect um, this bolt, this bolt, and then uh, this bolt. So these are 10s, small ones are 10s, big ones 13, and then they're on the same side over here. Uh, and then a tricky thing here is you got to take this bolt. Oh, whoa. got to take that bolt off, okay? And then you have to loosen this up so you can get this out because it's in the way of that bolt. So make sure you loosen that up. All right. So once you get this bolt undone, you can just unscrew this. You know, lefty loosey, righty tighty, and it'll come out. go and you need to undo that bolt underneath and you can get rid of all these hoses and stuff because you're not going to need them anymore because the bladders are busted and dry routed anyway all right once you got all the uh, bolts removed check this out comes right out and you just pull it out of the car and i'll show you what to do next now while you got the seat out go ahead and clean it up <laughs> so all along here are staples now on the standard seat, you can just pop them off and move on. You can change standard seat covers and no joke, less than probably five minutes with, with sport, you have to remove these staples. Here, and just keep working on it. You can't, it, you, these things are tougher than you think they are, the seat backs. Just continue to work it around. All right, when you get done, you should be able to do this and you can remove any remaining staples or some pliers or something. All right, on the sports seats, there's two clips here and here, 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 and here. And this actually kind of holds in the bottom of the seat. So we'll talk about getting through that in a minute. All right, so right there's a clip, one clip. Okay, so. All right, there's several retainer things here. One, two, three, and four. You want to cut those out with one of these and you should be able to move the seat a lot better okay once you get this like this you want to pull up and expose the i can't remember if this is called lumbar or bolster or whatever that's one of the things that we're going to have to cut out do it on both sides that will help you be able to expose the clips wherever they're at i can find them here and it should just be able to pop almost completely out. So I lied to y'all, there's only four clips, I forgot. There you go, ta-da! All right, so we're gonna cut this off of the frame because we're no longer gonna need these and they won't cut in on your hips anymore. So I'm gonna take these bolts off here, here. I think there's maybe three bolts on each side and we'll take those off. All right, so what you wanna do is go ahead and just pull up on this. And you can leave the cable connected. Leave the cable connected. And just set this off to the side. And we're gonna cut here. We're gonna cut here where the welds are, here, and on the other side. There we go. Safety glasses always, unless you have those anyway. All 
right so once you get a cut just keep working it back and forth and dry it off there you go now you can bolt your frame back up to your seat back and uh, install the new cushions so here's your two seat backs without the lumbar or bolsters or whatever they're called removed something else i noticed is you may want to grind these down with a grinding tool so they don't cut your your standard seat leather because it fits right up against that so i'm gonna use a little dremel tool grind it on all right there you go those pins installing took a little longer than i thought but just put everything in reverse like you did and uh, there you go from sport falling apart to standard new to me seats hope you all enjoyed this video uh i've had this corvette since i was 12 years old i'm 38 now somebody do the math and comment below how many years that is but uh, new to me seats is better than uh, having to spend a ton of money as soon as you buy new seats transmission probably go out you guys know the c4s you gotta love them they're not worth anything but sentimental value out the roof